I'm a former crime boss for a very notorious gang based out of Miami. I've done a few years in federal prison and this here is my story. My name is Eddie Soto, I go by Eddie Soto Official on all platforms, and this here is my story. Some of you may know me from my no bullshit approach when it comes to coaching. Some of you might have seen me on BH1 Reality TV. Some of you might have even seen me on the big screen. But what I want to do today is tell you a little bit about who I was and who I am today because of it. I'm a former crime boss for a very notorious gang based out of Miami. I've done a few years in federal prison behind the decisions that I made in my past life. I used to involve myself with very dangerous folks in very dangerous environments. And I say all that to say this, today because of it, I run a worldwide fitness organization helping save lives through the vehicle of health. I have become a pillar of my community. I have built relationships in love, business, and acquaintances because of the character that I became through it all and what I teach in my coaching program. So let me just give you a little rundown through memory lane. Born and raised in the city of Miami, specifically in the city of Hialeah. Yes, I had a decent upbringing to about the age of eight or nine with both parents in the house, very decent people. The only thing that I went through was when my dad cheated on my mom, left the house, I had to become the man of the house. So I stepped out the porch at a very young age. I started hustling, started accumulating all these skills of how to make money, how to be resourceful, because I saw my mom. As much as my mom didn't expose herself to being in pain, I seen it. I've always been very good with the transference of energy and I felt it. So what did I do? I stepped up. Both of my parents are very big in exercise. I used to be the kid at the gym in Bally's Fitness uh, in a daycare until one day my mom brought me on the blacktop, had me on the floor working with her and I found $50. Ever since that day, I signed up with the hopes of finding more money. Now, I never found money again, but I found something that was more valuable than anything you could put a price on, was my love and passion for exercise. Now, I went through all the phases. When I first started to go to the gym, again, I was just trying to find some money. Then I wanted to pump out chest and grow my arms, right? Everyone goes through that phase where they want to just go in there to snatch up their waist, build a certain area in their body, and I went through the motions. I was in the gym after a bad breakup. I was back in the gym after I wanted to release some stress and it wasn't until I got incarcerated where I found my true love and power of exercise. And let me just give you one of many stories because on this channel, you're going to be hearing a lot more of this. In my first prison yard, when I landed there, I was still with the mentality of the streets, the cold, right? I got there and it was just a real fucked up environment. People snitching, child molesters, all type of shit going on in there where I just gave in. I stopped doing the bullshit that I was doing. I started surrounding myself around the people that I was able to pick their brain and soak up some knowledge. And that's how I spent all the years during incarceration. I met up with a group of some straight savages where every Sunday we'll hit the yard and we'll hide ourselves in a room called Blacktop. And we will go so fucking hard, so hard, where we will have out-of-body experiences. We wouldn't even know where the fuck we were at for a very temporary time. And in this moment is when we started to really see the power of what exercise can do for us beyond just a physical level. Mind you, I was in there with people doing 20, 30, 35 years, having all type of problems at home, family members passing away, and they will temporarily escape the misery that they have formed in their mind over the years being incarcerated. So this is where I found the true power. This is where I was able to really learn to tap back into that. Every time I wanted to cope with something rather than going back to my old coping mechanisms. And I've carried that shit for the last almost going on 10 years. And this is the shit that I teach. This is why I know the power of what exercise can do for you. Besides build the character traits, the foundational character traits that are going to help you succeed in all areas of life because they're all the same. So if you can learn to control, understand, and then master yourself, through the vehicle of exercise and nutrition, this is when everything outside of you starts to fall 
in your favor. This is my story and just stay tuned for so much more. I'm gonna get real in depth with all the shit that I've been through, all the shit that I've overcome and where it's got me today.